week in my life I might make it like a sunday weekly reset type video if i have enough going on today and tomorrow but welcome back nonetheless if you're new here my name is tia i am a lifestyle content creator today i need to do all things resetting sundays i really like to make it very productive and just have a good start to my week so i need to go grocery shopping i need to do some laundry i need to clean up i'm definitely gonna go grocery shopping first i usually wait until the evening time to go grocery shopping but i think i want to go ahead and get it out the way early on today i'm gonna come back home after i'm done grocery shopping and do some cleaning around the house i usually like to do a deep cleanse every sunday so that is the goal here by then it'll probably be dinner time because i am a slow poke and i can never get things done at a decent time <laughs> it's already like 1 30 right now wait no it's not 1 30 it's already one o'clock right now and i'm just now getting ready so let's go grocery shopping Okay guys, so I wanted to do a quick groceries haul. I went to Walmart this time, which I never do and I'm never going to do again because I thought I was saving, you know, some money, helping my pockets. It ended up messing up my mental health. So anyways, I got some turkey bacon for breakfast. I got our meats for this week. It's gonna be ground turkey and chicken. Then I got some salsa. I'm gonna make tacos um, this week. So got some salsa for that. I got some oat milk. Um, I got some yum yum sauce. I got some heavy whipping cream. Got some veggies, some zucchini, and some broccoli. I'm gonna make hibachi, some lemons, some eggs, some sour cream for the tacos, some lunch meat, cream cheese. I got some mushrooms for the hibachi, some onions for the hibachi. This is for the tacos, of course. Penne noodles for, I'm gonna be making chicken pesto pasta. Some more veggies, some brown rice for the hibachi. I got some avocados and tomatoes in here. Shredded cheese, some Cheez-Its we're snacking on, some Baby Bell cheese, which we absolutely love, some pineapple chunks, some taco seasoning, some more snacks, my favorite matcha, I had to re-up, of course, some baby wipes for Cairo, this is just some cleaning supplies. These are for sliders that I'm planning on making with the turkey meat, and I'm very excited for this, actually. Some LaCroix, some Aquaphor, and then just some more cleaning supplies. And that is all that I got. It's a lot. <laughs> today just because when I wake up I've been trying to drink as much water as I can. I do have my water bottle and I've just been 
been so slack when it comes to drinking water. I do drink my water every day, but I don't finish the bottle like I want to. So my goal is to not have any coffee or matcha or any other drinks until around lunchtime. There are certain days where I will make some just a little bit earlier, like 10 o'clock, but I never wake up and then make a coffee or make a matcha as soon as I wake up. I also didn't film too much yesterday. I had such a busy day at work yesterday, guys, and I was just super stressed out over a lot of stuff with work and I was just over it, so I didn't really have time to pick up the camera as much as I would have liked to. So that's why I'm also including this day into the weekly reset type video. This might actually just turn out to be a regular weekly vlog. Today I'm feeling a lot better. Last night I went on a little walk, got my 10K steps in and made dinner and I felt a thousand times better. This evening I have a bar class at 5.30 that I'm gonna go to and I haven't been to bar in two weeks. So I'm very excited for this bar class and I hope that it does not take me out. <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy my lunch and watch some YouTube videos. I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately more than like Netflix or anything like that just because I just love YouTube so much. I love watching girls similar to me just live their everyday lives and it's very inspiring. So I watch YouTube 90% of the time and that's what I'm about to do right now. classic class today so I gave myself a little break because usually I do like intermediate and could not do that today and I showered I'm starting on dinner right now I'm making my favorite chicken pesto pasta It is Wednesday. I had a pretty slow start to my morning. But I just could not get out of bed this morning. So I worked from bed for the majority of the morning. I decided to get up finally at like 11.30 and get dressed. I did get a good bit of work done this morning. Now I'm just kind of at a standstill. I don't even have to tell you guys what I'm making because you already know. Masha. I kind of had a viral video on TikTok yesterday. Well, I think I posted it the day before yesterday, but it really like took off yesterday. And I've gained over a thousand followers, guys. It's insane. My goal for August was to have 5,000 followers on TikTok. Guess how many followers I have now? I'm close to 8,000 followers, guys. I've gained so much traction over the course of two weeks and it's just truly a blessing and it's just so crazy to me how you can literally manifest whatever you want. I have been praying, writing in my journal, manifesting all of these amazing things that have happened in my life and it's happening and I can finally say, wow, I'm seeing so much progress, especially when it comes to my content talking to you guys on camera, I was not okay. <laughs> I was not okay talking to the camera for the longest time. And now I'm, I'm still not 100% there, but I do feel a lot more confident. I feel more energetic. I just feel more natural talking to the camera. 
and it has completely changed and shifted my life and I'm just so happy that I finally started to put myself first and just get out of my own head and actually do what I'm so passionate about. I was talking to my mom the other day and she was saying how we from like little kids we knew what our passions were from day one. I used to make music videos and I used to do like little edits on Windows Movie Maker. Just fascinating stuff like that that like a middle schooler would not know how to do if they weren't passionate about it. And the funny thing is I knew I was passionate about it but I just thought it was like a cool activity that I could do. I had no idea that I would be able to make a career out of it. And obviously back then, influencing and content creation really wasn't a thing. I knew what I wanted to do before it even existed. Isn't that crazy? And it really just goes to show that you have all the necessary tools and, and knowledge that you need as soon as you are born. You may not know exactly what your passions are, but God has instilled that into you and it's impossible for anything or anybody to keep you away from that passion. If it's truly something that you're passionate about and you feel like you are meant to do that thing on this planet, in this life, you are going to do it, no exceptions. You just have to believe in yourself and find the necessary resources in order to achieve it. Shelby because we haven't seen each other in like over three weeks so that's that I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear we're meeting at 7 30 it's 7 o'clock right now so I'm gonna be a few minutes late and I'm not even worried about that my hair is pretty much done it looks good from earlier this morning when I refresh the curls I'm probably just gonna wash my face and put a little bit of makeup on throw on a cute outfit Okay guys, this is the fit that I'm wearing. Something, you know, just pretty casual. This is the top. I'm wearing just these blue jeans and some sandals. I'll probably film just a little bit there and catch back up with you guys whenever I get home. Hey guys, so this is actually Thursday morning. Well, actually around lunchtime on Thursday. I didn't film anything when I got back home from the bar um, just because I was super tired and I got home pretty late, uh, later than I wanted to. I got home around like 11, 30, 12, but I did have a great time last night. Some exciting things are coming today. I'm trying to decide if I want to tell you guys now or just wait until it gets here, but I have something very exciting coming in the mail today. I ordered it yesterday before I left for the bar and it wasn't really spontaneous it was more so i've been planning this for a while and yesterday i just decided to do it i'm so excited i'm gonna wait until it gets here to show you guys what it is but i'm sure you guys have an idea because i talked about this in my previous vlog if you watch that I cannot believe that I have a new computer. This is gonna do wonders for my YouTube channel. I can finally edit my videos before I was using my phone. I was using my phone to edit my videos because this computer right here just basically crashed on me. I could not edit a single thing on this computer. But now, now I have this. 
I also downloaded a free trial of Final Cut Pro, so I'm gonna be using that to edit my videos. It's so cute, guys. I got the Midnight color, which is, I believe, the most popular one right now. But it's just this, it's like a pinkish, goldish color. I can't really describe it, but you guys can see. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but yeah, the camera does not do it any justice. And this is what the keypad looks like. Pretty normal keypad and this is the screen i'm currently going in and trying to customize everything right now i'm probably going to be doing that for the rest of the night because i like to customize my devices when i get them this is just final cut pro i'm also going to have to do some research on that because i've never used final cut pro before um, and then this is my background really cute i love her already i downloaded this little time widget um, to keep track of the time and the date up here. And that's pretty much all I have so far. We're popping champagne to new opportunities, a new laptop, and my 3K followers that I gained on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So I am in bed. I'm probably not going to sleep anytime soon. I'm probably just gonna like play around on my laptop for a little bit. I have Final Cut Pro now. So what I'm gonna do is probably find some tutorials on YouTube so that I can get familiar with the program. This is the first video that I'll edit in Final Cut Pro. So I'm very excited. I also went to bar class today. That was good. It was very busy. There were a lot of girls there tonight. So it was pretty crowded, but I got a good workout in. Um, tomorrow's Friday, which is awesome. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. literally all day. It's one o'clock, I'm on my lunch break, and for the rest of the day, I really don't have to do much. I have to finish a few more things up for work, and then I will probably start on editing this video. This weekend, I know I say this all the time, but I am definitely going out to shoot some content. I have to get some pictures. I've been holding it off for three weeks now, and I just need to get on a set routine when it comes to taking pictures and getting reels of outfits and things like that. So other than that, this weekend I don't really have anything planned. Tonight we're going to a brewery, so that should be exciting. I might get that on the vlog, but other than that, I'm probably gonna end the vlog off today or tonight. It's pretty much all that I think I'm gonna be able to film today, otherwise, this weekend is just gonna be a bunch of nothing, a bunch of boringness. I hope everyone has had a great week. It's having an amazing Friday. You wanna do a trick for the people? Sit up. Um, me, I got a stout, 
So it's got vanilla bean in it, and it's also got like a real chocolatey kind of taste. It's pretty full. Um, so if you like things like chocolate milk, coffee, all those things, it's kind of the one for you. If you like things a little bit more fruity and don't taste like a beer. Like me. Like, it's still a beer, but not as beery. Yeah, the one that she not got is definitely one for you. Mm -hmm.